It was a homecoming many people hoped for during the holidays and an extra special surprise for Las Lunas family. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is in the Newsplex with their story. Crystal, the family of a local soldier, said they didn't expect this at all. The soldier had been deployed to Iraq less than two weeks before Christmas. She gave him a surprise they'll never forget. A genuine question from Captain Morgan Holden's mom after she's been deployed nearly a year. Today, she's enjoying a homecoming no one anticipated. Christmas is my favorite time of year, so to be able to come home early, we weren't supposed to be home till mid January. So be able to come home early um, and be home for my favorite time of year and spend it with family is wonderful. The 33-year-old medic was sent to Kuwait since January, then to Iraq since March. Holden says she didn't expect to be home until next year. <laughs> but Christmas came a little early for her and her family. The only person who knew was her brother. The siblings shared the secret until about 10 days ago when he invited her parents over for dinner. It was great. My mom's face was priceless. I don't think she could even speak and she started making a sound I've never heard before. <laughs> her mom, Marilyn, says she had already mentally prepared to spend Christmas without her daughter this year. I was really, really shocked. Best Christmas present ever. Her dad, Toby, says he's seen reunions like this on TV and his own Christmas wish answered this year. I had m had mental pictures of that happening to us, but only kind of uh, wishing thoughts, so to speak. Holden says she'd go back if called, but in the meantime, she's enjoying the time at home. Holden joined the military after finishing school at UNM. She works in the emergency room at UNM Hospital while in the reserves. After a few weeks of rest, she'll return to that grueling schedule there. Back to you. Great story. Thanks, Gabrielle. Holden was serving with a team of 10 medics that provided care to more than 300 soldiers in her unit. She says she'll miss her fellow soldiers the most.